Okay, so now we're going to go through some test cases to see how this actually played out historically. So the first one we're going to look at is interest. So in both religions, um, interest is, uh, is, is illegal or it's, it's frowned upon. Um, so interest, just, just so we're all on the same page, interest is I loan you some money and you pay me back, but with interest. So I loan you a hundred bucks, you pay me back 110 bucks. So it's like, you need money now, I got money, I'm loaning you money, but I gotta make it worth my while, so I'm gonna need to get a little bit of interest. Now this practice is banned in both, uh, in both Christianity and uh, Islam. So what is going on? Why is, this, is, why is this banned? Usually when you look at religion, you look at the rules, the rules are there for uh, a reason. Like there's some societal problem that the rules are solving. Um, and so what is happening is you, in the, when these religions were developed, you know, we're traditionally in agricultural societies. And so if you have a bad harvest, that's, that bad harvest is affecting essentially everybody at the same, uh, same time. So they're gonna to need to borrow money. Everyone's gonna to need to borrow money at the same time. If that happens, you think about just supply and demand. If the demand for loanable funds is high, you're gonna get high interest rates. So in these societies, you're gonna get, it's, it's, your high interest rates are gonna happen you know, every bad harvest. Um, and why is that bad? Well, high interest rates can kind of lead to an unraveling because if the borrowers can't really repay, well, then they, they can become essentially enslaved. Um, they may sell their children. They may just get caught in this inescapable debt cycle where they get a loan from somebody else to pay off the first loan. So it can really lead to this unraveling um, and, you know, really lead to really bad outcomes. Um, and, you know, really kind of lead to an entrenchment of, you know, an elite class rather than, you know, kind of all in this together type uh, mentality. And so kind of for these negative externalities, because of these negative externalities, it's kind of built in to have this, um, this, this ban on interest. Um, all right. And so in Islam, it's a ban on, uh, it's, it's a ban on riba. Um, but there is kind of ways to get around uh, the ban. So they have this, uh, this norm called hiyal. I don't know how to exactly how to pronounce these things. Um, and so the way this works is essentially, I go to you and I need to borrow a thousand dollars, okay? And so then you say to me, okay, I like your carpet. That's a nice carpet you got there. I'll give you a thousand dollars for the carpet. I said, yes, sure, go ahead. You give me a thousand dollars for the carpet. Now the carpet uh, belongs to you. But you know, I also really like this carpet. So how about in six months, I buy it back from you uh, for a thousand, uh, for eleven hundred dollars, a thousand and one hundred dollars. And I say, okay, yeah, that's sure. So what effectively has happened there, we've done this charade of buying a carpet and selling it back. Really what I've done is I've lent you $1,000 with the expectation that you will give me 1100 in the future. Um, and so this double sale, this y'all, is kind of getting around um, interest. And then it's actually you know, supported by religious uh, authorities. So as long as you don't be too flagrant about it, you know, we're gonna allow this practice because you know, a little bit of lending is probably good for society kind of to, you know, to have this going on. Um, however, but you can see this is a transaction cost. This is difficult to do. Lending must take place on a kind of a person to person level. Um, and we have to go through this charade every time. Um, so this kind of inhibits the development of kind of larger financial institutions that would be focused on on lending. Because you can't, as again, you can't be flagrant about it. You can't be open like, hey, we're a bank and we're doing this. Um, and so this is what happens. Essentially, we're going to kind of, it's going to go on under the table, but that is going to inhibit the development of, you know, large scale financial, uh, institutions. So the Muslim rulers are kind of happy to, to allow this. Um, but we don't want to have anything that resembles interest because that's going to really going to undermine the religious authorities. If something that's going on is going on, that's, you know, not in the Quran or is illegal by the Quran. Well, that essentially say that our religious we're, we're going we're flying in the face of uh, re, uh religion and the religious authorities don't want to permit it because if you're if, you know if you're a religion what you are saying is like i have the truth all right i know what's up i got the truth the truth is here in this book um if i say oh you know what this 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 one thing in this book about interest you know what never mind we're not we're not doing that 
well then what else what else are what else is not true in that book what else can we not do that's that's in that book if the interest thing is wrong well maybe everything else is wrong too so you know kind of giving an inch um undermine starts to undermine all of your uh, authority okay and so we have this equilibrium where it's like okay the religious leaders are going to say interest is not allowed we're you know we're ma- maintaining a united front with with the quran however we know this kind of it's kind of good to have a little bit of lending so we're going to allow this practice we're just kind of t- going to turn a blind eye to it okay christianity essentially kind of starts the same way where they ban interest um and really you know there's not much growth there's not much economic activity everything's very small scale but then we start to get you know a little we start to get the commercial revolution where we start to get some you know expeditions some some more trade and then it starts to become advantageous to have lending with interest for um these these merchants and then the rulers themselves they need to raise money to fight wars and so they start to think, hey, you know, it'd be nice to be able to borrow money. Because you know, without interest, it's really hard to borrow money. <laughs> like, why would I b- lend you money without, uh, without interest? So it, becomes, um, so it becomes kind of permitted um, or kind of like, hey, we're, we're, uh, you know, we're, do- we're, we're starting to do this. And then it kind of grows and grows and people start to flagrantly say, all right, we're just going to not do what the church says. Um, and this delegitimizes uh, the church. Um, and then as the church gets delegitimized, then it's like, I'm more flagrant as a ruler. I can borrow money. And again, now that person who I'm borrowing money from, they're part of the propagating agents. So I'm going to do what they want me to do because I owe them money um, instead of the church, which I've just you know said, all right, well, I'm not going to follow your interest, uh, uh, um, uh, your, your interest laws. All right. And then eventually the church kind of has to throw up their hands and say, look, we're kind of, we're toothless here. We're not, obviously nobody's paying attention to us. And so here we have this quote, if practices flourished and brought prosperity and were accepted by the common conscious, it was generally reasoned that there must be some objective foundation for the profits gained from them. So it's like, all right, this thing seems to be working. You know, all right, we're going to allow it. You would think about some other religions where it's like, you're not allowed to eat pork. And again, that's in there for a reason because, you know, pigs are a filthy animal and like, you know, you would get sick back in the day when you eat pork. In the present, you know, it's much safer to eat pork. And so you see people, you know, eating pork and saying, okay, well, I guess, you know, things have changed enough. So what was bad, I lost the mic, what was bad, you know, maybe isn't so bad anymore. Same thing. It's like, okay, well, interest maybe was bad in the past, but, you know, all right, in the present, it doesn't seem to be a huge problem with interest. So, all right, we're going to... You know, we're going we're gonna to be cool with it. All right, let's take a break before moving on to the WAF. What is the WAF, you ask? Well, stay tuned. 